Today we're going to learn how to find and use the Bitmoji Classroom. So if you're in kindergarten, first or second grade, you will click on this class and you will click on module. You will look for module number two, module number two. And then you will go to the activities page. The activities page has a big button, big square purple button. Right here is a link. It says Ms. Joaquin's Bitmoji Classroom. So you click on that link and it will take you to the Bitmoji Classroom. Now when you visit this classroom, you can click on different things in the room and it will take you to a different place on the internet. Like this, if I just click on the rug, you can tell that something's going to happen because right at the bottom, when I put my cursor over the rug, then an internet URL comes up right at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm going to click on it and it will take us to this really cool video about the grand step. Let's say you don't want to watch it. Then you just click on the X and it takes you right back to this. Okay, so if you, um, if you go here, you can tell there's something there. And it will take you to um, how to play a baby shark song on the xylophone. And you can watch it. So, there are several different little things. My favorite one for kindergarten through second grade is this pile of books right here on the desk. When you click on that one, it's going to take you to storybooks that have been turned into songs. So, like this one is Giraffes Can't Dance. It's a wonderful, was a it's a wonderful story and there's a whole bunch of them here. But this is the one we're going to focus on right now. So, boys and girls, you could just click on different items. You look for the URL down below. And if there isn't one, that means there's not a link. So, like, if I try to click on something and there's nothing here down at the bottom, then you're not going to go anywhere. So, that means you have to try to find one somewhere else. Okay? So, that's how you use it. Then, after you're finished messing around with that a little bit. Then we'll go back to our um, module. And there will be a Bitmoji assignment. Oh my goodness. Now, the assignment is that you can visit several different places on the Bitmoji um, classroom, but you're just going to pick one. You're going to pick one and you're going to be prepared to share with the class What's something that you learned that was brand new information? What's new? New information. So then you will put that here. You can type it. If you don't type yet, you can draw a picture and or whatever. That's fine. Any way that you can try to remember what you learned that was brand new. Okay? Then here, you might have also come up with something that you already knew. Like maybe if you go to a piano site, you could say, well, I knew there were groups of two and groups of three black keys. So then you would write that down here or draw a picture of it. Then if you had fun at that place in the classroom, then you're going to put a mark here for, yes, it was fun. I liked it. And this, it was not fun. So you can put a mark here or here. And that way, I will know if you liked a site or if you didn't and if we get a lot of dislikes well then I have to get rid of it and find a new one okay so you're going to do that now you don't have to write anything down but sometimes when you write something down or draw a picture about it it helps you to remember because you're going to share with the class the next time we get together so today, after this video you're gonna get busy and I'm gonna be right here to help you through it and then Next class, you're going to tell us what's the cool thing that you learned, okay? So, 
Then, when you're all done with that, you'll go to this page and look, there's a cute penguin with glasses and a stop sign that says we're all done. So that is how you use the Bitmoji Classroom.